lovelies, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to another tutorial that's not quite a tutorial, but still a tutorial. And that is our deep dive on one of my favorite flowers. Granted, I love all flowers for the most part, but this is, it's up in the top 10, I think. And that would be the ranuncula. Oh my God, I love ranunculas. I love them so much. Uh, so today we're going to dip dye, hand paint, play around with the ever lovely ranuncula. So let's jump into it. Now, before we get to the ranunculas, just to remind you, if you'd like to find out more about the 150 style wood flowers, craft supplies, and greenery that we carry, go on over to ohyourlovely.com. But before you do, let me give you something. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off one regular priced item, not item, one regular priced order. Everything in your cart, as long as it's regular priced, 30% off one order, YouTube 30. That does include the ranunculas, unless they're on sale that day that you happen to go on the website. The ranunculas do come in three different sizes currently. We have a three inch, a two and a half inch, and our little baby, one and a half inch. These are all available individually. We are going to play with a bunch of them. I have some pink, some orange, some yellow, some accents of green. Let's see what we can create. Welcome to the chaos that is my work desk. Okay, so we have, this is a latex paint. We actually used this uh, recently with the Sola branches. And this color is Vintage Tea Rose by Bear. Now this is a, a, a mixture of a little bit of that, because I wanted to add that in there. And then I took a little bit of our powder puff and our blush pink that we carry at Oh You're Lovely and mix that all up. Are they similar in color? Uh, maybe, but shh, shh, we'll address that later. And the yellow was a mixture of two different craft paints. I used Deco Art Americana Summer Squash and then Tester's Craft Sunshine. And it was about 50-50 of those mixed together. And our orange color is a mixture of our coral, which is going to be then I wanted to deepen it just a little bit, so I grabbed some, Crema Coat has terracotta, which is more of a brownish orange. Mix that in there. For the accents, we're gonna use some green. I did wanna grab my holy powder, but I couldn't find it, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But what I grabbed instead was Crema Coat sea moss, and we also have watermelon from Oh You're Lovely. We may mix and match those a little bit. Now the holy powder, the reason why I wanted to use holy powder, I do have a green that just gives this very soft translucent kind of green in the center. And I wanted that for um, that mixed with like a really light pink, but no dice. I couldn't find it in my studio and I didn't want to keep searching for it. So it is what it is. Just kind of imagine we could have used that too if Stephanie knew where she kept all of her art supplies. <sighs> like that's ever gonna happen. Okay, let's jump into it, shall we? I think what I'm gonna do first is we're going to just add green to the little center little nubby guy that's right in there now this sea moss is fun because it's it's got a greenish it's like a chartreuse it's a greenish yellow there you go a ranocula right there oh i just saw the holy powder oh yay i'm gonna go grab that in just a second all right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna spray this down with water. You could also just dip it in a bowl of water. That might be a little bit easier. I just have water in my spray bottle. I'm almost out, I gotta get some more, so. The reason why I sprayed it down with water is I do wanna open up my petals just a little bit more. And when they're wet, they work, they open up a lot easier than when it's dry. When they're dry, you can um, crack them, and they make a little bit more of a crunchy noise. If that happens, it is normal, but just know that maybe add a little more water to help it open up just a little bit more. Plus, I like to have it already kind of wet before I dunk it in the paint, which is what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna grab that lighter pink. Let's see if we can get the look I'm going for. I'm going to put it on its side and I'm gonna twist it around like a, like a wheel. I want to keep the centers 
closer to that cream color. And I do need more water. So let me grab a little bit more and put it in this water bottle. Let's see if I can do it. It's a big, big water bottle, teeny tiny little spritzer bottle. You can add glycerin to this if you want. I don't, when I'm just using it for diffusing and things like that, I don't find it necessary because I already have glycerin in all of my paint mixtures. Um, the mixture of water to paint is about a one-to-one -one mixture. And then I add in my glycerin. My glycerin will be a one part glycerin to eight parts water paint mixture. That gives you some idea of that. I'm just gonna kinda smush some of that. Again, I wanna keep the center, that cream color, so it gives me that um, shift of our little center and then a little bit of a cream that fades into that pink. <sighs> Do you see now why ranunculars are one of my favorite? Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, I found the holy powder, so let's go play with that. Let me go, I gotta turn off my camera for just a second. I'm gonna grab it and we're gonna play. Okay, so for the holy powder, we're gonna to try two different things. One, we're going to put the holy powder on first and then dip dye it, we'll see what happens. And the second one, we're gonna dip dye first and then put the holy powder on. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna go with our slightly darker pink. Now, the one thing to note is I made this a little bit ago, probably less than like a half an hour, 45 minutes ago, but it's already starting to settle at the bottom. So you definitely want to make sure you mix up your paint in between dip dyes. Okay, so holy powder. Holy powder is similar to the stuff that's used in like fun runs. I believe it's based with some cornstarch. Okay, I want to open this up though. And when there's water on there, it's going to sit a little bit more too, which is nice. Okay. And with the holy powder, I like to use a fluffy brush. Makeup brush works really well, but today, because I really want to just focus on a certain, um, be really concise with where I'm putting this, I'm going to use a smaller brush. But normally, I use like cheap makeup brushes from like, uh, five below or Dollar Tree or something like that. Okay, so this is gonna make it much more um, condensed as far, or like a, a brighter color. It's not as like soft when it's wet. It kinda really sits in there. That's kinda scary, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, whoops, my camera died right as I was dying that one. I'm not loving this, so again, we I put holy powder on first, dip dyed it, and then I put a little bit more holy, I just, I don't like how this is turning out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in again with some more holy powder. And I'm going to just rub it in, hopefully to make it a little bit more brighter, which is working. Okay, all right, all right. I also already did one of these, so I'm just going to mess with it slightly. We're just gonna add a little bit of this. The paint is still a little wet. So what I did with this one is I first dyed it in a yellow and then did that wheel technique again with the orange. Let's do it together, okay? But before we do, I'm gonna try a different kind of center. Okay, I'm liking that one. I also took and added a little bit more holy powder, or I put holy powder on top because the chartreuse is turning a little more yellow than green. And that then added, you still have that little bit of yellow on the outside, but a little bit darker in the inside. It's looking much more realistic. The ranunculus in particular are one of my favorite in terms of how realistic you can get them to look, at least I feel like. Okay, so we're gonna take one of our three inch, our big boys. But before we do, I'm gonna grab the watermelon and I'm gonna dip my brush right into the paint as is. We're not gonna, well, we are gonna water it down, kind of. 
But we're gonna scrub that in there. take our paintbrush again and kind of clean that up a little bit. Smush that yellow paint into our green a little bit. Then, while it's still wet, now you can wait until this is dry and then do a second layer of color. I like to blend them together. Again, this is definitely a personal preference. We're gonna spin it on its side. You can, if you want, to kind of blend it a little bit more with your fingers, mix your orange in with the yellow, or you can just let it kind of sit on top, but I'm gonna mix it a little bit so there's a little bit more blending that's happening. Aren't these so much fun? Now, if you're feeling like, okay, this is too, maybe that's too bright of a green, you can go in again, a little bit of yellow and mute it down even more. Oh, so pretty. All right, we're gonna let that one sit. And let's play just a little bit more. This time, why don't we do the opposite? Why don't we dunk it first in the orange all the way? We're not gonna do anything with the center yet. I'm gonna dunk that first. We gotta do a couple more pink ones too, but let's do this one. So as it's wet in the paint, I'm gonna open it up a little bit more. Shake off my excess. Same thing. This time though, I'm gonna try, when I'm dipping it, I'm just going right on the, the edges of the puddle. I want a little bit more yellow, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, though, with the darker color, what you could do is let it sit and dry completely and then go in with your yellow afterwards if you want. Oh my gosh, aren't these just so much fun? Okay, let's do one pink one. Kinda wish I had a darker pink right now. We could do some two tones with those, but I'm not going to. I just want to see what it looks like with the yellow. Is there such a ranocula like this? I don't think so, but that's kind of the joy of playing around with this stuff, right? Kind of just create whatever you want in your head. I'm all for that. Yeah, we're gonna just put in a little bit of watermelon straight in from the bottle. It's gonna get diluted and softened from the pink paint already there. Yeah. I'm gonna go extra, extra, extra with this one. Right on the tips, I'm gonna, just on the edges. And as I twist it and turn it, because everything is still wet, do you see the cool veining that's happening? Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. All right, so we're just gonna let that one sit. That one's a little, that was a, li a little bit of an experiment one. Favorite time, cause you just start to play and you're like, ooh, what if I do this? And ooh, what if I do that? Like right now I've got paint on my hand and I'm just adding, while it's wet, just a small kiss of a color. That's kind of fun. So what I'm gonna do while it's wet, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just going to tap the edges of my petals. And what's gonna happen is the paint is going to slowly drip down or quickly drip down depending on how much paint you've got on your brush and how water, watered down it is. You have a thicker paint, it may just stay up on the top. I kind of want, I don't want to, I want to leave some cream 
on my petals. It gives more of a, like a water, watercolor kind of effect. And my hands are filthy, so we've got some color transferring there. I'm just gonna spray it down and blend that in. Got kind of a, a wash going on in the back. That's going on in the front. We're gonna grab our holy powder. All right, you guys. The ranicula. Isn't she just the cutest little flower? Oh, obsessed. I hope you are too. If you make one of the, if you dye a couple ranunculas, make sure to tag us over on Instagram so we can see and cheer you on and get so excited. It makes my little heart go pitter patter whenever you guys let us see what you're working on. Are you in love with the ranunculus? Which one was your favorite? I kind of like the first one we did. It's kind of my favorite right now. But I'm gonna play a little bit more and then I'm gonna go wash my hands. Um, I think what we're gonna do with this series, because we're doing a bunch of different um, deep dives of different styles that we carry. We're gonna take all of the different flowers at the end and I will be making an arrangement with all of the different flowers. So I better keep my color story in mind as I do this. That's gonna be a challenge. Okay, Stephanie, we, we got this, we got this. So I will see you next week for another tutorial. We're gonna deep dive on another flower. It'll be a surprise. I hope you're excited. I'm not 100% sure which one is the next one up, but the whole series are some of my favorite flowers. I think you're gonna love it. I sure hope so. I will see you next week for another tutorial. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you're notified when the video goes up. And if you're interested in learning about the 150 different wood flowers, craft supplies, and greenery you carry, go on over to ohyourlovely.com. But before you do, don't forget the coupon code YouTube30 to get 30% off one regular priced order, which would also include the ranunculus, most likely. All right, you guys, I will see you next week. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely. You, my friends, absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.